Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Rolex brand and what I believe Rolex should be doing with their brand. But before I tell you what that is, let's go into my magical intro. Today we're gonna to be talking about what I believe Rolex should be doing with their brand. What they should be doing? Well, I'll tell you this. If Rolex makes a headline that says something to the effect of Rolex to increase their Rolex production, I promise you the secondary market will be over, game over. It will collapse the watch market, great market. It will collapse it, it will, it will, it will finish like that. They only have to use those words, Rolex to increase the Rolex production watches. And I can promise you the gray market will never exist. The secondary market will not exist no more. But are they? Are they gonna increase their watch production? Rolex right now is king. Rolex is like the apple of the market, of the watch market. They control everything. When Rolex shakes, the rest of the watch companies, brands, they all shake. Rolex is number one, number one. More than Patek, more than Adamas Piquet, more than Richard Mille, more than F.P. Jorn. You know, they're, they're King Kong. Rolex is King Kong. They, they decide the market. They're the ones, they're the stock market. They are the watch Apple market company. They decide everything. If they shake a little bit, the rest will all fall down, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen because Rolex right now is just in solid ground. They're controlling everything. Rolex is really, really right now on solid grounds. They're firm, they're strong. Uh, I mean, as a matter of fact, I even believe Rolex is just gonna start selling, being their own, being the, the, their own gray market, you know, picking up used watch, watches of Rolex and, and reselling them. Um, so I honestly believe that Rolex right at this moment is in solid, solid ground. And, uh, but I say one thing, if they really wanna finish the, the gray market, I am telling you, if they put a headline that says something to the effect, Rolex to increase their Rolex watch production, Game over for the secondary market. Game over. It would collapse. It would collapse the secondary market like this, I promise you. But is Rolex gonna do that? Rolex is the apple of the watch market. You know, they, they control everything. You know, when they shake a little bit, the rest of the, the watch uh, brands, they fall down. And that's including, you know, Adamas Piquet, Richard Mill, Pate Felipe, F.P. Jorn, Briguet, Bacheron, they all fall down. Rolex is King Kong. They're King Kong in the jungle. They control everything. They're in solid ground. And, you know, so things are, things are getting a little bit uh, worrisome there for a lot of, uh, of the, the gray market, you know, the secondary market. You know, they're, 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 if, if Rolex decides to put those words that I'm talking about, Rolex to increase the watch production, it's game over. Game over for the gray market, completely game over. But do I think they're gonna do that? You know, Rolex is solid, they're firm. They're, they're just, they're strong. They're, they're, they're Hercules, man, they're, they're it. I mean, they are, they are the stock market of the watch market. They are the stock market of the watch watch market. You know, when they shake, the rest of the other brands, they fall down. Hold on. I said hold on because I almost forgot. There's this gentleman that has been on a waiting list at Rolex for quite some time. And his name is Elon Musk. And if he decides to purchase Rolex, I am telling you, the watch market, the secondary market will be crippled. It will collapse. It will be game over. Finito, done. But do I really believe that Elon Musk is gonna buy Rolex? Nah, I don't think so. I'm just kidding with you guys. 
but I'll just keep on saying this. If Rolex decides to put a headline that says Rolex to increase Rolex production, I'm gonna tell you, it'll be a real big game changer for the gray market, for the secondary market. I'm telling you, it would totally cripple. It would totally cripple that market. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my video. And remember gentlemen, take care and brush your hair.